Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today we're going to be using the Brother Skin and Cut machine to make this adorable little card case. I use the Cricut faux leather to cut mine out. You can certainly use cardstock or paper. Inside it just holds a few business cards. So super simple and really cute I think as well. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. For the computer, I already have the Canvas workspace opened. The first thing it brings up is the Canvas Project Pattern Collection window. Inside that search box, you want to type in card case and then click on enter. It's going to bring up the paper card case. Going to click on that and this will bring up a preview window. Now all the pieces we need to make the card case are on the same mat. We're going to go and click on mat A here to transfer that to our workspace. Close this window out. Now we have our design here. The first thing I did is move both of these pieces to the lower right hand corner of my mat. Take my mouse and highlight both of them and then move them over. Now I believe I used like a 5 by 3 inch piece of faux leather to cut those pieces out. Then we have the card case. I did move this a little bit more to the upper left hand corner, making sure you're still within those red lines. And this one I used an 8x8 piece of the faux leather, but if you don't want to use faux leather, you can certainly use cardstock or a pattern paper. Now I want to transfer this to the machine. So we have the very top toolbar, click on File, and then click on Transfer. It tells us it's already transferred. Go ahead and click OK. I'm going to cut it out, go to the table, and we'll put the project together. Alrighty, we are back. Everything is cut out. This time I used the blue faux leather versus the green. Now, word of caution, before you cut this out, you do want to do a test cut on your brother's skin and cut. I did not do that, and I wasn't sure what blade depth I should have to cut all the way through the leather. So I put my blades up all the way to the highest it can go, and I actually cut a hole through a mat. So I do recommend highly that you do a test cut first. All right, so we have our case here, our two little straps, and also brads. These are just regular office brads, and I just took a black Sharpie to paint the front of them. Now there are score marks in here, but they're not that defined. So I'm gonna flip it over and just basically line up the four corners, and then use my bone folder to go in there and give it a better score. I'm going to do that on all of, all of the sides. Let's get the top here. And there is one more that I'm going to grab as well. So we have that one and then this one down here. There's also one up here on this side. And I'm going to flip it over so I can see. I can see the dots where it goes. So I'm just going to press on that and hold it down and take my bone folder to go over that. Okay, now we're just gonna fold everything up. Just give it a good crease when you do that. So funny story, uh, we're not really funny, um, it's funny now. Um, I was gonna do a video today or yesterday of the kitchen because our kitchen is all the way done and I wanted to share that with you guys. And I was cleaning the shower in our bathroom. Now our master bathroom is, a, is horrible. It was really dirty, the shower was. I was just folding all this up so you can see that. It was really dirty, our shower. So I used this cleaner called Zep, Z-E-P, and I sprayed the entire shower stall down and just to have the cleaner work so I wouldn't have to work as hard. But there was so much soap scum on there, I really had to scrub it. And I didn't want to put, I, I, I had to get in the shower to clean the shower. And um, I didn't want to use, you know, no shoes or no socks and just go in there barefooted because I'd be in contact with the cleaner. And like I said, it was pretty potent. So I actually used my rain boots to do that. This way, if I had water on my feet, you know, it would, it would keep my feet protected. Well, after cleaning it and I get it almost done, I fell. And our, it's just a shower stall. It's not like a shower bath combo. And when you go in the shower, there's this little ledge that you go over. And I was probably a good two feet up because I was standing on the seat in the shower when I fell. And I fell and I hit my backside, my bottom, on that ledge. I'm telling you, I seen stars. I just seen stars. I was like almost numb, like, oh my gosh. You know, like I was just stuck there for a minute. And now I'm covered in cleaner. I'm laying literally inside the shower where the cleaner is everywhere. And I tried to avoid the cleaner. Ironically, I'm now laying in it. And I literally just rolled out of the shower. Yeah, I'm on the floor. I'm almost in tears. It didn't hurt so bad to where I was crying, but it was just almost like a shocking hurt, you know? I get up, I get up, I could, I can barely walk. My shoulder hurt, my whole left side hurt, my butt extremely hurt, so I cannot do a video because of that. All right, we have all that there. Let me just, and I told my husband, I'm never gonna clean the shower again, never. I mean, so on this piece here, we're gonna fold it over, 
and line up the two holes. And luckily, our master bathroom is the next room we're going to remodel. And I said, I'm never cleaning the shower stall again. Or just keep it up to where it doesn't need to get, it doesn't get that dirty. Because it was really dirty. I'd be embarrassed if somebody came over and took a shower in that shower. Like, that's where nightmares came from. I'm telling you. All right, so we have that folded. I'm going to take some sticky strip. If you want to, you can use like a, a tape runner glue. I don't think the art glitter glue would work really well here. So I'm just using this sticky strip. And I'm putting it on the ends. Okay, do you see that right there? I'm going to give it a little bit of a rub. And then take the backing off. And then just want to back, we're going to go back over and fold it again. Again, you want to line up the holes. Okay, so we have that side done. And now we're going to do this side as well. So tomorrow... Because I'm sore today, tomorrow you'll probably I'll probably do the video of the kitchen. All right, so we have that. Now we have this piece as well. This is the backing piece. This goes behind this one. So I'm going to take more of that sticky strip, putting it in the middle, avoiding the holes, and then putting it on the side as well. This way it doesn't come undone. Yeah, but our bathroom, I'll show you, I'll, I'll do a video of it before we start anything. It is so bad. Like I said, we live in a mobile home, and it's an older one. It's built, it was built in 2000, and <laughs> everything has original parts. So everything is going to come out of that bathroom. We plan on gutting everything, taking everything out, and then rearranging some things, like our sinks and tubs and that kind of stuff. So that'll be fun. All right, so I, I made all the, um, I took the tape off, so my glue is exposed. Now just take this and lining it back up. Lining up the holes. This is the hardest part because you're sticking to the glue. Just kind of get one side, then you come over and do the other side. Okay, so now we have that extra durable. All right, now we're gonna take this and all this, we're gonna bring this over, bring this piece over, take our bread and stick it through this piece here and stick it through all these pieces. So I just take it and just line up the holes. Bring this one through. And then inside there, you're gonna open it up and flatten out the brad. And do the same on this side. Put your brad in here. Bring this over. And just lining up the holes again. You want to, you can put a piece of white paper in there to make it easier to identify the holes. All right, and then open the brad up on the inside. I'm kind of turning it sideways. There we go. All right, so we have that. Now that little fold here, you're gonna fold that down just like that, and that kind of covers the brads. Close this piece. And this just tucks under this piece. Super cute, right? And like I said, I can hold a few business cards. I have my own here. I have five. I could probably hold more than that. Great gift for dad for Father's Day. Little wallet. You can put pictures in there, a few gift cards in there, because it can hold a business card, which is the same size as a gift card, I believe. Just have to get it under that little lip there. And then just push it down. I'm getting it stuck. There we go. Isn't that cute? So we have the blue one there and the green one. I'm not sure which one I like better, the blue or the green. So you guys leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys like the blue better or the green. I like them both. I do like that faux leather. I've been using it in quite some time. This is from Cricut. Um, I had it for quite some time. You can get it at wherever Cricut products are sold or even on the Cricut website. All right, there you have it. A super cute little wallet and a fun little bathroom horror story for you guys. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'll film the video for the kitchen. You'll probably see it tomorrow's Thursday. You'll probably see it on Friday. And then, of course, Friday we have our Pinterest Inspired Project as well. Hope all is good with all of you guys. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.